We are in a very, very dangerous situation with the development in Ukraine. We have to prepare for millions of refugees to come to the European Union. Already almost one million are here. I visited the border with Poland and Ukraine yesterday, the day before I was in Slovakia, the day before I was in the border between Romania and Ukraine. And I must say that I'm so impressed by all the means, all the efforts from all the EU citizens that are working there as volunteers, are giving clothes, foods, strollers, uh, dogs meat, <laughs> everything to uh, to help uh, for the for the refugees. Open their homes for people to come and live with them. So this is really a, a moment to be proud of being European, but this is also a moment for strong decisions. We need to have a proper legislation in place for the protection. That's why we have proposed a temporary protection directive to uh, activate it. We need proper funding for this. We need proper guidance for how to deal with the different uh, situations that occur at the, at the border. We had an extraordinary council uh, just uh, four days ago uh, and now we are meeting again and I suppose, I, I, I expect that we will have a strong solidarity from all the member states towards the refugees but also towards the member states that are most affected right now.